Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. I thought I'd do a quick video for you today since I'm out running around and I got a new mount for my uh, phone. I can record videos a lot easier. So, um, I was going to do a video on, I want to do a video on before you buy land, there's a couple things I think you should check into before you, before you decide on a piece of property. And that is the neighbors of the property you're buying. Um, over the course of the last few years, I've heard a number of horror stories uh, from people who have bought land and didn't realize that there was a conflict of boundaries and other things going on with neighbors at the time of the sale. And they bought land only to figure out that they had a mess on their hands, you know, with a neighbor. And so what I would urge you to do is before you buy land, and this does take some groundwork, it takes a little bit of effort, but everything good in life takes effort, so keep that in mind, is to talk with the neighbors, you know, knock on some doors, you know, and say, hey, listen, my name is such and such, and nice to meet you, and uh, I'm thinking about buying this land over here, and I uh, just want to know if there's, you know, uh, you know what, what your relationship was with the person that you bought the land from, you know, how's the neighborhood, you know, so to speak may not be much of a neighborhood, maybe just woods, you know, but, you know, yeah. well, how are the people around here, you know, and I think that's important, I think it's important, it, it, it can really, really save you a lot of problems later, the other thing along with that is making sure that you have um, a very good survey done on your land, you know where the boundaries are, uh, it's all on paper, it's all legal, it's all uh, submitted to the court, county courthouse, or whoever in your county uh, keeps those records. Make sure that there's no, um, I mean, obviously a title company, when you buy the land, is going to make sure there's no liens on it or anything like that. But, um, you know, it's good to have those property markers down, you know, where the, the boundaries are, and it's legal. If there's not a survey that's been done, make sure it's been done. You know, get it done before, get it done before you buy the land. And so we have surveys basically, they've, 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 we had our land survey before we had moved on to it and it was pretty clear. Um, we had, we have most copies of, we have copies of most of our land from other surveys that people have done in our area. And so we had a pretty, we had a pretty good idea of where our boundaries were. Um, and some of the boundaries were actually a bit off. Like, I'm sorry, some of our fences were off by, you know, sometimes 10, 20 feet here and there, um, which is not a big deal usually. But again, you know, check with your neighbors and see if there is not a conflict going on. I'll give you an example real quick. I knew a guy one time, um, he had bought his land and um, the neighbor thought that part of his land was his land. You know, part of, the, part of the other guy's land was his land. And so every time the landowner went out there to, on that part of the property, it could be seen from the neighbor's place. And so he'd go out there with a shotgun and and just kind of walk the fence line to make sure he wasn't getting on on that land, getting on his, what he called his land. It wasn't legally his land, but he always thought it was his land because he had owned it from his family in the past, and some of his, uh, 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 I guess, descendants had sold off part of it against his wishes. And so in his mind, it was always his land, it was always going to be his land, and you better stay off of it. And so he gave this guy trouble every time he was out there working on that part of his property because... You know, in this guy's head, it was his, not not the other guy. And so, I mean, you don't want to deal with stuff like that. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind. I mean, there's stuff like this that happens out here where, um, you know, things are not actually... You, you just, it's, it's just good to have that survey. There's lots of other examples. So here's another example. Um... We get along with most of our neighbors. Our neighbors are really good, you know, people for the most part, and you know, we, we they're you know uh, really easy to get along with, really easy to talk to. I have one neighbor who does not take care of the land at all, and uh, it's basically just one giant dump. And if you've ever been out to my place, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's a dump. I mean, there's ordinances in our county for against illegal dumping, and so she doesn't go dump in the middle of the woods, she you know, just dumps on her property, and it's just a giant, you know, trash dump, and so that's, 
that can be an issue. I mean, do you, do you care about someone who's un, who, who keeps their land unsightly? I mean, is that going to affect you? Is that going? Can you see that from your from where you live? Is it, you know what? That's just something to take into account. Get to know your neighbors, people who are living in the land next door. Um, they may not stop you from buying your land if someone next door to it is you know looks like trash. But um, I mean, it's often that you'll find people with just kind of maybe some a few extra vehicles in their yard, you know, stuff like that. But I mean, this property I'm talking about is a dump, a dump, and. It's just, it, there's a whole other mess of problems involved with that. Um, so, you know, keep in mind, is, is that something that, that's going to bother you? Um, just just different things like that. that. That's always good to just take in a, before you sign on the dotted line, before you purchase something, know what you're getting into. Um, understand, you know, surveys are important. Um, you know, see if there's any conflicts with, with things going on, you know. You know, part of me, when someone keeps their land untidy like that, part of me, you know, the, the patriot in me, the, the libertarian in me, uh, cheers because I think this, I think it's, I think in one way, I think it's great because we live in America and if you want to keep your land like that, go ahead because we live in a free country and you can do whatever with your, whatever you want with your land that you want to do. I mean, if, as long as you're not hurting someone else, do what you want to do. So, so part of me is, you know, roots on for people like that who want to do, who want to keep their land like that, um, because it's it's just a sign of a free society. The other part of me is like, oh my gosh, you know, what is it? I mean, I, when I when we looked at our land, you know, our goal of our land is to make it look very inviting, make it look very relaxing. I want my land to look like a park, to be clean, have nice grass, um, to be manicured, landscaped. I want my I want my property. I want, I want to look out over my property and feel good about it because of the work we've put into it. Um, you know, so I guess some people don't care about those those things. They don't care about it at all. It doesn't bother them. I mean, that's up for you to decide. But if it does bother you, and someone is living next door to you like that, uh, you know that may influence you know what you do and how you purchase your land, things like that. So. My bottom line is this. Before you buy land, make sure surveys are there. Make sure property lines are in concrete. Make sure there's no conflicts with any of your neighbors with the previous landowner, the person who's selling the land. Because you don't want to get into something and find out that the next door neighbor thinks that part of that land is your land, is his land, and um, you know your fence is five feet over the line, and you know I'm going to give you heck about it every time I see you, and, it's just not a very good environment if you have kids and family and things like that, and you're going to have to have an issue with a neighbor like that. Um, one of my neighbors I know, his my fence is, my property line is maybe 10, 15 feet over where the fence is. I don't care. He doesn't care. I don't care. No big deal. Whatever. I'm not going to build on that line anyway. Uh, maybe someday someone might, but um, we, we kind of all know where that is. And and I got another neighbor who uh, thinks that the, the fence is a little bit on his side. And so he's getting a survey done and, you know, okay, great. You know, people, when they put up these fences 30 years ago, didn't have satellites. They didn't have the, the location devices that we have today to, to see where markers are. And so um, you just figure those things out. And, but if you have a reasonable neighbor who can, you can get along with and you can get these things done and accomplished, it'll be all fun. It'll be all good. But uh, sometimes some people are harder to get along with than others. Some people don't work and play well with others. So um, just keep all that in mind. Before you buy land, do some due diligence, do some late work, talk to, talk to the neighbors, and see if there are any conflicts. All right, we'll leave it at that. See you next time on Homestead.